It may be frustrating when message conversations on your iPhone turn green, but there are reasons why that happens, and I'll explain what those are right now. So iMessage is an internet-based platform where users can send messages between Apple devices. It works over Wi-Fi or by using your cellular data plan. This is a different technology than SMS text messaging, which uses traditional cell tower services to deliver texts. These messages can be used if you have no data plan at all, but do count against your monthly text limits and typically only allow 160 characters. The iPhone supports both iMessage and SMS texts, so to make it clear which is being used, every message you send is color-coded. Blue means the message was sent through iMessage, while green means it was sent as an SMS text. Now, if you're messaging an Android user, the entire conversation will be green since iMessage only works between two Apple devices. But if you were having a blue conversation that suddenly turned green, there are a few things that may have happened. It could be an indication that the recipient blocked your number, since Apple doesn't deliver any type of notification that you've been blocked. You simply won't be able to message that number anymore. But more common causes of the dreaded green message is the person's phone being off, running out of battery, being in airplane mode, or if they're simply out of range of their cellular network. All you can do in moments like these is to wait until the recipient is back online. Although once they are, you still won't know for sure if the message was delivered, since that feature is only available while having a blue conversation through iMessage. In fact, most features you typically enjoy won't be available like the typing indicator, red receipts, and audio messages. Capabilities that have proven to be so essential that iPhone users are actually less likely to date people using Android. So while it is disappointing to see a green message appear in the middle of a conversation or when contacting a new person, all you can do is hope you didn't get blocked or that the Android user you're starting a conversation with someday switches to iPhone. This is Greg with Apple Explained. Thanks for watching till the end, and I'll see you in the next video.